Hey guys, this is Gloria. I wanted to share with you guys a video response for Kim Paul 64 here on YouTube. She is doing a just had to have it giveaway. And I really wanted to take part in this because half the time when I buy stuff, I always be like, oh, I just had to have it, you know. And then I get this stuff and then I'm like, okay, what was I going to do with it? And I just completely forget. But anyway, um, guys, as you can see here, I have out my Prima Doll stamps, which I just had to have. And I completed some projects with them, but not as many as I thought that I was going to complete. But that's neither here nor there right now. <laughs> I'm just going to get to the project. But I want to share that this is my stamped image. But I used her in a in a little bit of a different way. So I'm going to show you guys that. So that is requirement number one, my stamp uh, image. And then my next requirement was to use a paper pad that's over six months old. Now, this one is not over six months old. This is a Prima pad that I just got recently. Um, and... I use this on the background of my um, my project, but this one is a fact or fiction pad that I got a while ago. This is a 12 by 12 pad. Um, I recently bought, like a couple of months back, I bought some 6 by 6 pads of this same paper pad, but this one I've had for a little while longer than that. Um, this was from 2012, and of course when I saw it, I just had to have it because it has like the most cutest prints and stuff in it now i can't remember right now what i was going to use this for originally but i love the pictures and, and patterns and stuff that i you know that it has inside of there and now you know i can think of other projects that i want to do with this but yeah i just had to have it at the time so this is my just had to have it stack um it was almost well it was brand new um i only used the two sheets out of here and the two sheets that i used was this one and um there's another one that I used out of here. I can't I can't see it right now on the face, but um I know for sure it was that one. I think it was the background of one of these other ones, but you'll see the project in a minute. But yeah, I only used two sheets out of here, so this is almost still a full paper pad. And then I also used a sheet of card board just like this one um that i actually got from like packaging or whatever and the reason why i use this is because i had a um what do you call it a canvas but the middle of the canvas was so um like dense or soft in the middle that i found found it kind of hard to work with so this was what I had in mind to start doing like my mixed media on anyway. So once I went back to putting it on here, I mean, it worked so much better. So if you guys have cardboard laying around, don't throw it away. Use it for your mixed media projects. So let me share with you guys what I did for Miss Kim for her Just Had to Have It giveaway. So this is what I did, guys. I made this full canvas, if you will out of a piece of cardboard i actually cut this down i believe this is nine by twelve excuse all the other junk that's around on my desk i was doing a project and didn't clean up but um this is what i created a nine by twelve canvas on this cardboard and what i did was i just ripped off some of the outer paper you know on top because this is the cut from that but you know how you can rip the top paper off and then show the corrugation underneath and that's what I did here and I thought it was really cute and rustic looking I also took some warm vanilla paint and just painted on top of here um, in no particular rhyme or reason to it I just painted it and um, let the corrugation still show through and then this is that Prima paper that I was telling you guys about. I distressed the edges of it and then I laid that down as the base of my little canvas here. And then I built on top of that. So what I was going to tell you guys about this Prima doll stamp, you, as you can see, she's huge. She's not the same size as she was. Now this is the stamped image right here. And this is the same girl. What I did to accomplish that was I stamped her out on a white sheet of paper put her on my copy machine and I blew her up by 150%. So this is what she would look like at 150%, which actually worked out really, really well because this canvas was so large. I needed her to be at a larger scale. So that's what I did. And her dress is actually that fact or fiction paper. And I just cut it out. So I, I ran this through my printer um, three times. One for her dress, her I mean her skirt, one for her shirt, and one for her skin. And then I just colored in her hair with a black marker and also her shoes with a black marker. And then I stamped on her skin with um, a stamp, um, a music note stamp, which is this one right here. 
So I used this just to stamp on her skin because I just wanted to give her a different kind of look or whatever. And so that's my girl. And then I put a little bit of lace underneath her little skirt. I thought that was really cute. Um, and then I put some stickles on her shoes, made them really pop and stand out. And so then the next thing that I did, I'll take you guys up top. Sorry about the shakiness, but I had to take it off of my tripod pot because it's so large. But what I did here was I just took some seam bindings that I dyed and I made this faux bow out of it and I put it at the very top. This is a vintage button underneath here. This is one of those um, clay pieces that I've been making and I just have a pearl sitting in the middle of that if you, can, if you guys can see that. And then um, it's going to hang right here on some seam binding and a little pearl strand. I like doing it that way because I think the pearl strand just adds some more interest to it or whatever. And then this is just the paper again. And it was already, you know, with these words on it. But then what I used some um, was a saw crafter um, stencil. And this is the friendship stencil. And I just stenciled these words here. And also over here and what I used was some Martha Stewart um, crackle medium or crackle paint and it actually gave it some really nice texture because um, I couldn't find my texture paste um, I got some of that stuff from like Menards or whatever but I couldn't find it but this worked just as good and then these all of these butterflies and um, you know some of the flowers like this one here and that little dress form girl and my little um, typewriter. All of those are um, pieces that I made with clay. This is hard clay here, but the rest of them are like the foam Martha Stewart clay. And so the other thing that I did was I just added, this is a clay flower here, but I added um, some paper flowers here. And I actually got some of these flowers from Kim. She sent them to me in a, in a rack. And then some ribbon buckles from um, Saul crafter and some pearls and this is just a flower from my stash and that is about it guys oh um this right here that says BU this is the title of my little canvas and um those are thickers that came from Marshalls for like a dollar fifty these are the kind that you can actually paint on and change the color but I didn't want to change the color of them because I thought they were really cute the way they were and it kind of stands out so that oh and um this is a um a little stick pen and I'm not sure who gave that stick pen to me, but I wanted to put something up there because I folded this paper back and I just thought that it would give it more interest over there. So that is about it, guys. I hope that you like my first multimedia project. Um, and I plan to make more of these because I, first off, I have more cardboard and second off, I really like the way these are. And I have a few more little sands that I want to put on them. But yeah, this is it, guys. This is my video response to Kim Pa 64. Just had to have it um, giveaway. If you guys are not subscribers, please go over to her channel and check her out. She is the most sweetest, the most talented card maker. Oh my God, guys. Y'all got to see her cards. They like will blow you out of the water. So yeah, go and check her out if you haven't already done so. And you still have time for her giveaway if you guys want to take part in it. You just have to do a, um, a project and go over to her channel and she'll tell you all the details and stuff. Alright guys, so let me come back just a little bit so you can see all of it in all its glory. I really love the way that it came out. Alright guys, so take care. Any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Alright guys, take care. Bye.